back to the YouTube channel of Proenzo Vid, and uh, this afternoon's video is my thoughts on the signing of, or well, coming back to the club, Corey Waddell on a one year deal, um, just for 2024 only. And um, yeah, well, caught me off guard, that's for sure. It's a signing that I did not see coming at all. Um, probably the last thing I would have expected to see all day, if I'm being honest. But um, no, you know what? It's, it's a signing that. Yeah, look, it's a bit, I guess people, I can see why people think it's a bit odd because, you know, our, I thought our forward depth was fine as it is, but, um, you know, he's actually been a standout in a struggling dogs team in 2023, and um, he's actually, I've watched him closely, yeah, he has actually improved a lot, I feel like, um, like seems to work, well, he's always been a hard worker, but he seems to really be consistent with his hard work now and seems to be really, you know, strong in his carries and seems to be strong defensively. Like, I remember the game against, well, when Dogs played Manly um, at a core stadium around um, round 26, I think it was. Um, yeah, he scored two tries, and that was for good running and just some great uh, hole runs. And, yeah, he had a good game, that one. And, but, yeah, I think uh, the whole year, he's actually had a decent year for the Dogs and a struggling team, so that says a lot. But... Uh, yeah, no, as for what I think about it, honestly, as a Manly fan, um, it's, a uh, yeah, it's, it's an interesting one, I will say that. I mean, I do remember him at Manly in 2019 and 2020, I mean, 20, uh, in 2019, he was awesome, I, re I do remember his debut year, he was very good. Um, he was one of those unknown players, like Ruben Garrick, you know, no one knew who, who he was from the Dragons, and then he burst onto the scene ever since, but... Waddell was sort of the same. I guess Garrick has gone to a bit, of, a bit more of a higher level, but no, Waddell was one of those players that bursted out in 2019. Uh, he was really good for us that year, uh, actually. When there was injuries and stuff, he really plugged the whole world in the starting back row, and he did really well there in finals and um, the whole season. Yeah, for a debut season, that was really good. We got, we got him from Penrith, and um, yeah, he's been, he had a good year that one. 2020 probably wasn't the best year, but to be fair, it was a bad year for Manly too, and um, yeah, uh, I guess at the time, you know, moving him on was probably the right move because I guess we were signing heaps of players back then anyway and the squad was changing. But, um, yeah, I mean, since since um, the time he left, uh, I guess the squad's changed yet again and uh, we find ourselves in a situation where we may need some depth in the forward. And I thought we didn't, but maybe we do. And now we've got Wardell on a one-year deal where I think... When I, when I looked at uh, what Seabold said about... Um, what else signing and where, I guess, he, what he thinks about it. He did mention that he'd bring a bit more competition to the middle. So I'm assuming that they've signed him as a, like a backup prop maybe or a backup lock, you know, sort of thing. Because normally he's an edge player, but he mentioned the middle. And I, I, don't, I don't know how much you can take out of that when Sieb says he'll bring competition to our middle. Um, but I do assume that's meaning that he'll play more prop than back row when he's well where he normally would play but uh, yeah i think i think it's it's a sign i can live with honestly um i do walk him back uh, i do think it's good i know i know um yeah it's a bit weird to some people but i, I can see why but for depth maybe and just for i guess if, if other things don't work across the team yeah he'll, he's there for cover and i think he will provide good depth for, you know he'll probably play a few games next year but not many i'd say but yeah, he does a job. He does a job. I mean, look, he's he's improved a lot, I feel like, and um, his work ethic's always been pretty good, I feel like, and um, he's also going to be the future brother-in-law for Jake Trebojevic too, because Jake's with um, Waddell's sister, so, um, so you know, obviously he's got connections at the club already. Like, he'll know a lot of the boys from the time he was last at Manly, and he's back with them again. But, um... Uh, it's a, it's a very interesting roster we're building for next year, you know. We've already signed Brooks, uh, Paolo, Talao, um, Tarsi James, um, and now Wardell, and potentially Nathan Brown, I heard, which I guess I'll leave to another video. But, um, but yeah, yeah, look, obviously the, the squad needs to be the shake-up, I feel like, and hopefully these changes are all for the better, you know. I really do hope so. New logo change too, so... Yeah, the club clearly wants to move in a new direction and a good one, they hope. So, yeah, hopefully it all contributes to something special. But that is my thoughts on the signing of Corey Waddell returning to Manly on a one-year deal. Uh, what's your thoughts on this one, uh, Manly supporters? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. But as well as liking this video and subscribing to the YouTube channel. 
Uh, my goal is to get to 3,800 subscribers by hopefully the end of October to early November. About 30 or 29 subscribers away now from um, that goal of 3,800 subscribers. So please, if you're new watching right now, please be sure to subscribe. But uh, thank you for watching. And um, yeah, it's something that I didn't see happening. But looking forward to seeing Wardell back at Manly in 2024.